Hey everyone, it is Shar from Shar's Fascination. This is for Instagram and YouTube. How about that? Um, it went dark in here again. Uh, so as you can see, I have my hair double braided for a reason. And there is no, none of this in my hair. It's traditional not to. Um, so as you can see right here um, and then what I'm going to do is because I'm only going to the grocery store real quick to get my stuff for the fry bread um, I had to adjust my corset um, which corsets can make you look very like slimmed and stuff but I use it because of my back but anyway um, so that you guys don't have to stare at horizontal lines <laughs> For too long, this thing could make you dizzy. Made me dizzy making this thing. <laughs> but I will tell you the pocket on this, the way I sewed this, if somebody went to like reach in your instant right in their face before they could get anything. Plus they'd be too darn close. Um, but yeah, let me change my shirt real quick and then I will show you how um, I put in my hair backles. Hair backles! Now, you all might be wondering what the terminology for a hair backle is, but I will be showing you that momentarily. Okay, now that we're back, I couldn't find my belt, and I feel like this is so huge on me. <laughs> and traditionally, I would wear a belt with this. <sighs> That's what I did last year with the skirt because like as you can see this is like way too big on me, right? But it's traditional to have the sleeving open like this. Uh, a lot of us will go to the powwow and obviously not this year. So this is why I'm doing these videos. These videos because I'm doing them on Instagram time as well might um be on instagram time which since i've only done this one for a couple of minutes gives me time to like this is my medicine bag these are relevant for not everybody gets medicine bag um <laughs> and this is for my navajo brother calls me sister. I started braiding his hair last year. Um, does he like, he liked my braids. <laughs> so he's like, oh, who did your braids? Okay, this is a set of hair backles. Okay, pull down the little bead and uh, open it up. Take the end of your hair. Hope you can see this. And now, um, what I do is I fold it back and then I put it through the backle. Sometimes this is easy, sometimes it can be a little bit nah. <laughs> Just depends on how much patience you have for putting in your hair backles. And um and make sure that this part of your hair is behind this. And this is how we do this. And push this up to where you really want it, right? Before you take that bead and slide it in place. Now that bead helps to tighten your hair backle and keep it in place. Now... What I didn't do was, I don't think I crossed that in the front. Anyway, what I didn't do is cross it in the front like this. If you want it tighter, you can cross it like that. But I'm just taking a run to the grocery store to go get the stuff for the Native American tacos. Oh, best thing you can eat. Um, other than the pheasant 
um, sausages or the quill meat sausages. Um, oh my gosh, there's just an array of delicious foods at the powwow. Absolutely. Now, if you feel like your hair back was a little messed up, yeah, I know you heard my hair. Um, take it, cross it back this way. Well, I, I was kind of feeling like it wasn't sitting right. And then you just take it and cross it back and then it's all good. And then again, take the end of your hair. This is what I do. Just kind of put it in a little... <laughs> slide your braid through okay and um if you still feel like that part of your backhoe isn't sitting right right here's your opportunity to check that and this is what I mean you can cross your backhoe straps right here Take it that way. Now remember, you got to make sure that this tail of your hair is in the back. Um, so that's very relevant. And then push this up. Take that bead on the backle and go like that. And that's what tightens your backle. Now that my backles are in. Yeah, I don't feel that this one's tight enough. So again, um, I can check my backle. On this one, I'm just used to checking the backle this way. But this year, I think I'll just do what I did with the other one. Just go ahead and bring it down here. Or bring off my hair. Just take the bead and slide it down. Check it, check it, make sure they're crossed. And now I will cross this like I just did the other one. But I noticed when I bought this, like you can wet and stretch that if you want, but you have to be very careful with the leather. This, these are leather backles, otherwise, traditionally, they're made out of buck hide with uh sinew um which i do keep a few rolls of artificial sinew um sinew is actually made out of a plant i know i should put something on oh manny quinn over there she's a bit naked <laughs> can't be having that now can we naked Manny Quinn um it's also why I turned her away from the camera like I don't know I just felt like turning her away from the camera because she don't got nothing on and again make sure the tell your hair is behind the straps of the backle it's a recap for you am I putting makeup on no, not until later. And then I'll show you, like, we basically do our makeup just like anybody else. And the backles are in. Yay. And now for my medicine bag, which is tradition. And then um, I do have a specific pair of, well, two specific pairs of earrings. That I normally wear with these, this, thus, um, and I can't seem to find my smaller turquoise earrings that my brother gave me, um, unless they're in here weird. <gasps> There's they are. Um, these are from last year's powwow. Navajo make beautiful jewelry. So I am going to wear my Navajo made earrings today. Um, I know I have a jewelry seller. Her name is Isabella. 
She also owns a rival bee. She's white, I don't care. The color of your skin don't matter to me. It's how you are in here and in here. That's right. I said it, that's right. Color of your skin don't matter to me. It's what's in here and what's in here. That's what matters. Um, then I'm just basically going to uh, lotion up because I'm going out in the sun, my friend. Go out and get your vitamin D. It's very, very pertinent that you do that. And like I said, you know, I would have gone to this year's powwow, which would have been today. And to get the fuzz out of your hair, just put a little bit of that in your hair. And you're good. And um, this is from my friends at Sun City Soaps and Candles. Uh, you can get 20% off at any time with my non-expiration code, Shars Nation 10 The Nations. The Nations. The native nations, and hold on a minute. Always welcome other people to enjoy um, the dances, enjoy the food, the music, the shopping. Oh, yeah, the shopping. <laughs> right? Let me pop something on Manny Quinn's top half, at least. I'll pop this on her. Hold on. There we go. Now Manny Quinn has something on her. <laughs> and you can tell how much bigger I am than Manny Quinn. Um, I think Manny Quinn might be like a size 7 or a size 6, something like that. <laughs> I'm definitely not that size. I'm definitely, as you can see, way bigger. But I'm a busty gal. <laughs> but anyway, um, I will be on my way to the grocery store to go pick up the stuff for the Native American tacos. Um, depends on, you know, like, everybody will call them uh, Navajo tacos. But uh, the tribes, like I said, you know, the nations... But you know what? This is how I see this. We are a human race. No matter what walk of life you come from. Yes, Native Americans are sovereign. Um, we are. Um, and we have less rights than other people. And sometimes it upsets us when other people are saying, Oh, well, we don't have these rights. Have you done your history? And now I'm not being mean about it, but I do kind of would like you guys to uh, learn the history of who really doesn't have rights in America. Oh, snap. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is like a small weekend series. Possibly, if you guys would like, I can take it on into the week if you want. Um, of Native American history, garments, and hairstyles. Um, uh, we basically wear our makeup just like anybody else. If we decide to wear makeup, um, our hair, I can teach you the history of the, our hair was very long sought out by the colonists, but we'll get into that later. Right now... Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys later. Aho.